Welcome back to the Ark Survival Guide. This Federation tech suit guide will teach you everything you need to know about the tech suit you are given the moment you spawn into Genesis Part 2. You have tons of hidden powers and abilities with this tech suit, but it's really hard to figure out the controls. This guide will teach you every ability of the Federation tech suit, all of the controls on PC, PlayStation, and Xbox, and will show you some secret tricks you can do with the tech suit that most of the pros don't even know about. So by the time you finish watching this video, you will be more powerful than Iron Man and ready to take on every challenge that Genesis 2 can throw at you. Please like and share this video, comment and subscribe to this channel and ring that bell for all notifications so you don't miss our next video. And let's get started! Now the first ability I'll show you is how to fly because my gosh flying is such a game changer. So if you double tap the jump button which is space on PC X on PlayStation and A on Xbox, you're going to launch yourself up into the air and start floating. And if you keep the jump button held down, you'll continue to go higher with your jetpack as long as you hold that down. If you let go, you're going to start to fall. But don't stress too much because your tech boots have an ability to absorb shock. So when you hit the ground, you're not going to take any fall damage at all. Also, your dinos won't take any fall damage if you're not riding them. So if you ride a dino off a cliff, jump off, take the impact yourself, and nobody gets hurt. If you start sprinting while you're hovering, you can actually hover forward, backwards, left, and right. And you're going to do that by holding the shift key on PC or clicking the left stick on PlayStation and Xbox. And then you have full control to move back and forth horizontally, and you can use the jump button to hover higher. So once you get the hang of this, you can fly anywhere with no trouble at all. Do you remember the days when we would build a thatch hut and a raptor or something would smash the whole thing and completely wipe us? Yeah, that doesn't have to happen anymore. Find yourself a nice flat plateau out of the way, hover up there, and you can live totally safely with nothing attacking you. It's over, dinos. I have the high ground. Also, if you're hovering above a dino that doesn't have any ranged attacks, you can just shoot it with a crossbow or something like that until it's dead. Doesn't matter what it is or how strong it is, you can kill that thing and have no trouble doing so as long as you can fly. Now this technique will totally change your life. You can fly faster than a pteranodon with unlimited stamina right from day one. So if you jump up in the air and you hold down the control key on keyboard or hold the top right bumper on PlayStation or Xbox, you can do this crazy dash attack and fly ridiculously fast. I mean, look how fast we got to this loot drop. And by the way, every loot drop on Genesis 2 is worth checking out, so this is going to change your life. Now, you do get a lot of extra momentum when you're flying like this, and it's kind of hard to stop, so we'll show you a technique pretty soon for how you can actually do that. But first, check this out. If you hold the same control top right bumper key, you can dash on the ground, and you'll actually do a decent amount of damage to any dinos you run into, you'll smash any collectible resources like trees and rocks and just destroy everything in your path and you can run crazy fast on land too. It's a little easier to control but you cannot turn while you're doing this. Now if you've got a weaker creature like a Dilo here, you can just run over it and uh, instant kill it which is kind of cool. And if you start from a shore of a beach or river, you can just dash right across the water and run all the way along the entire higher body of water to the end, which is also kind of cool. Now if you stop in the middle of that, you're actually going to go underwater, but that's not really a problem either because the tech suit visor allows you to breathe underwater and it acts as a scuba helmet. It also protects you from any like toxic gas or anything like that. And your jets actually work underwater too, so you can dash and sprint underwater, go down pretty deep, and this will make you fast enough to outrun most underwater creatures. And then you can hover out of the water and fly again if you want to just get out of there. Now the tech suit is good for more than just mobility too. It really packs a punch as far as firepower. I mean, you can literally punch things with it. Falcon punch! You can do the tech punch by holding down the right mouse button or the left trigger on console and you'll get this little green crosshairs and if you lock that onto a creature you'll punch them. Sometimes I have to punch a little bit above them to actually connect with them, but it does some pretty serious damage. It's great for more than just that. If you don't have any tools on you at all, it's actually able to harvest a lot. 
The Tech Punch is actually really similar to a slightly weaker Ankylosaur, so it can get tons of flint from boulders, thatch from trees. The Tech Punch is actually one of the most effective ways to harvest element in Genesis 2. And before you even make metal tools, you can Tech Punch a metal deposit and get tons of metal. And it's actually way faster than a metal pick. So remember how when we first spawned into Ark we had to punch a tree? I actually died for the first time in Ark from punching a tree too many times. Yeah, I lost a fist fight with the tree. Well guess what tree? I'm back for a rematch and I'm not losing this time. Yeah. Pretty soon you'll be able to watch the first episode of my Let's Play Ark Genesis 2 in 4K on the PS5 series. I'll gather all the thatch we need to blast right through the thatch tier in like five minutes. It's crazy. The Tech Punch is actually really good for getting around too because it jumps you forward and even if you're a hundred percent encumbered to the point where you can't move, you can't jump, you can't do anything, you can use the Tech Punch to launch yourself up into the air as long as you launch slightly forward and once you get in the air you can hover and then use the dash attack to dash all the way across the map even if you're carrying like twice your maximum weight. And I actually was saved using this technique because I got poisoned by a scorpion after I grabbed too much metal to move, I was able to jump out this way, and then I passed out somewhere in the air far enough away from the little guy that nothing killed me. But this little trick can be a real lifesaver out in the field. And you've probably seen me use that tech punch to stop my momentum while flying. It really helps to get you to one specific spot. So once you've mastered the tech punch, it will change your life. Your tech helmet also has some awesome features to make it way easier to see. So if you hold down the R key on PC, hold square for PlayStation, or X on Xbox for three seconds, it'll pop up this menu where you can cycle your helmet visor or toggle helmet visor on and off. So if we hit cycle helmet visor, it's going to start scanning everything around and it will highlight creatures. Anything white is neutral, but as soon as it gets aggroed onto you and it starts actively trying to kill you, it turns red or if it's fleeing it turns yellow and any allied creatures are highlighted green. This is super helpful if you're trying to find something small and hard to see like noglins or dung beetles in the Rockwell's garden and it makes it really quick to spot stuff that's going to try to kill you, especially those annoying ants and it can actually scan right through solid surfaces so you can keep track of something that's attacking you below a ledge or someplace you can't see it. Now if we cycle the helmet visor again it switches into night vision mode where you can see perfectly well in pitch black darkness and then we can also cycle that one more time for a combination of night vision and scan mode so it'll highlight creatures at night. The toggle helmet visor just switches it on and off without changing what type of scan mode it's in. So you might be thinking with a federation tech suit why would I ever want any other piece of armor? Well it does have a low armor rating so not a ton of defense only 20 armor per piece on the federation tech suit. So for example if you replace the tech helmet with a flak helmet you gain 80 more armor but you lose the ability to scan stuff with your visor. If you replace the chest piece you can't hover, if you replace the gauntlets you can't do your tech punch, the leggings allow you to sprint, and the boots reduce fall damage. So if you don't mind losing certain abilities you can mix and match your armor to gain a lot more armor rating. Or if you want the best of both worlds, build the actual tech suit and you get 180 armor per piece but you no longer have unlimited fuel. You're actually consuming element with every ability that you use. So that's the trade-off for all the pieces of the Federation tech suit. And if you want to look really cool, you can dye the Federation tech suit to look really awesome. So that should be just about everything you need to know about the Federation tech suit. Hopefully this helped you. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. Drop us a comment. Let us know if you learned something new about your own abilities that you've had this whole time. And keep an eye out for more Genesis 2 guides. We're going to do a lot more resource location guides. I'm working on another guide with some new epic base locations that I found. So keep an eye out for those in the next couple of days and we'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up and share it around. That helps us out a lot. And drop a comment. We love hearing from you. Make sure you subscribe to this channel and ring that bell to enable all notifications because we have lots more videos like this coming out really soon and you won't want to miss any of them. We already have tons of other videos for you to watch right now, so check these out. And until next time, stay safe, have fun, and we will see you in the next video.